Hey guys, this is Lenny here. I just got out of the new Ridley Scott Epic Napoleon and uh, my main takeaway is that cannonballs suck. If you get hit with one, that is it. You're done. If you see a horse get hit with one, it is not going to be pretty. Um, but yeah, I just got out of Ridley Scott's Napoleon starring Joaquin Phoenix and Vanessa Kirby. And I definitely uh, enjoyed this. Um, now, I guess the first thing that I want to preface this with is um, there are going to be two versions of this movie. So the one that I saw tonight uh, in the theaters, I think it runs around two hours and 30 minutes or so. Um, and then there's going to be another, um, I guess a director's cut, that I think is going to be um, released on Apple TV, and that's going to be four hours. Um, so what I'm going to be reviewing, obviously, is going to be the uh, the two hour, two hour and thirty minute uh, cut. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely enjoyed it. Um, first thing to uh, that I want to really get into. Um, so we're not going to get any like French accents. We're not going to get people speaking in French in this movie. Um, Ridley Scott made the decision sort of like with Gladiator, um, just to have people just speak the way they do. Um, and that might be for, for the best to just to kind of make sure that it's not, um, you know, too distracting having people, you know, say talking accents that they're just not good at. And the last time, um, Joaquin Phoenix and, um, you know, Ridley Scott, uh, collaborated together. It was for Gladiator, which won, uh, Best Picture, uh, at the 2000 Oscars. And, uh, in that movie, Joaquin Phoenix played an asshole moving up the ranks to become Emperor of Rome. And in Napoleon, Joaquin Phoenix plays an asshole moving up the ranks to Emperor of France. But, um, the acting is great. Um, uh, first off with, uh, with Joaquin Phoenix, um, you know, he plays Napoleon as a very, complex person at first when we meet him he seems confident but when the battle begins it's a it's a port battle uh it's a battle to to gain control of a uh, i think a british port and um he seems confident at first but when the battle actually begins you hear him panting you hear he's nervous and anxious and almost like he's scared um and so that's kind of a different Napoleon than I think most people are kind of used to when it's when you hear about the stories of this uh, ingenious military general. But, uh, you know, when this movie starts, uh, Marie Antoinette has just been beheaded and uh, Napoleon is trying to get uh, a promotion and, you know, he is um, put in charge of um, that, uh, you know, seizing that port and uh, winning that particular battle uh, gets him to uh, move up in the uh, in the ranks. And um, he, Joaquin Phoenix also plays Napoleon um, as not just someone who um, is, you know, confident in battle and his ego grows exponentially as uh, as this movie goes along. But, you know, he plays him as as a bit of a uh, a man child as well. Um, there's a, a moment where he lashes out, um, at, uh, at Britain. He says like, oh, you guys think you're, uh, so great just because you have boats. Um, he has a fight with, uh, his wife, Josephine, uh, played by Vanessa Kirby, who is also awesome. And I'm going to get to her in a little bit. Um, she calls him fat, um, at the dinner table in public. And he's like, um, yeah, I, I like to enjoy my food. It's my destiny to have this lamb chop. Um, when he's told that, um, his wife, Josephine is having an affair, he tells the person that informed him of this, no dessert for you. Um, so he, there, there's this, um, you know, he's, he plays him as this very insecure person. And you, you kind of see where the, the term Napoleon complex come, came from It's not from his height or his stature. And he wasn't really that short to begin with anyways, but really more his insecurities and how he has all of these, uh, military campaigns to kind of make up for, uh, how he feels, uh, as a, as a person, uh, especially when it comes to Josephine played by Vanessa Kirby. And she is tremendous, uh, in this movie, they have this, uh, this me cute. She's actually, um, she was a prisoner before and then now and then she was an aristocrat. Her husband passed away or her husband died and, um, they, 
uh, her and Napoleon have this very weird uh, and uh, complex uh, meet cute where Napoleon's like, don't tell me your name. And um, he, um, her son, um, you know, asks him for uh, his, his dead father's sword. He gives him a sword. It's not necessarily his dead father's, but then he finds out that uh, Josephine is uh, this boy's mother and they, uh, they meet and their dynamic and their chemistry is so good. Um, they play off each other so well, but they and, but the relationship is really toxic. Um, at times, Napoleon is very abusive towards Josephine, especially in pu public, because he wants to look powerful. But behind the scenes, um, the dynamic shifts and um, Napoleon is jealous. Uh, he is a lapdog for Josephine. Um, the, one of the best uh, moments in the movie comes when uh, he is... Uh, you know, telling Josephine after she cheated on him to, um, you know, say, I am nothing without you. And he's like scolding her. But then they get to behind the scenes and she turns it around on him. And she's like, you are nothing without me. Say it. And he does. And we see that uh, that relationship and how that um, that toxicity, um, you know, kind of forces Napoleon's hand in terms of some of the decisions he makes. He when he finds out Josephine cheats on him, he's in a camp during he's in a campaign in Egypt and he just bounces. And you know, people are like, well people are gonna think that you deserted your men and he does not care. Um he goes straight back to uh to France and this is when, you know, he's um, you know, declares himself like emperor um and, and everything like that. Um and those Smaller scenes, uh, the political scenes, they're really good. The scenes between him and Vanessa Kirby are great. Now to the uh, the battle scenes. Um, I think there are three, made three or four major battle scenes, and it's Ridley Scott, so he knows what he's doing. These battle scenes are epic. They're sprawling. Um, they're brutal. Um, the realism uh, in terms of. Um, how they how those battles are are done. This is basically like Game of Thrones with like muskets and and musket rifles. Um, they're they're really bloody. Um, and like I said, man, those cannonballs when they hit, man, they're they're terrifying. Um, you know that uh, next battle um, that uh, I think is uh, Austerlitz. Um, that's you see it in the trailer when uh, all the soldiers are are you know they're tricked to 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 to, uh, to be on ice and cannonballs just battering them. That's an amazing scene and probably the big glorious set piece. And um, you know the the editing for those battle scenes are great. The cinematography, um, the sound design, um, and and you know th things like. The, the costume design and the set design for a movie like this is all on point. And one thing, too, that I want to really uh, point out, you know, is the cinematography. It's it's really great. And it reminds me of um, Barry Lyndon, which is a Stanley Kubrick movie. And the big thing with uh, that particular film was uh, their indoor scenes were lit by candlelight. Um, and there was a lot of natural light that was used. And you kind of get that uh, same feeling here uh, in... Uh, in Napoleon. Um, and then I definitely, definitely um, appreciated that. Um, there are parts of this movie that are hilarious. You do not expect that um, from a movie about Napoleon. Um, the music um, was a little eclectic as well. Um, it goes from like 18th, 18th century classical uh, music that you might have heard from like the French Baroque period um, to like epic um, you know, modern type of um, war music. Um, and it's just one of those things that you, you kind of notice. Um, I don't say, I won't say it pulled me out of the movie, but it was something that I was like, oh, okay, that's kind of an interesting um, music choice for, uh, for, for those scenes. Um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed this movie. It's, it's kind of weird. I wish there were more of the the battle scenes and then at the same time i wish there was more of the uh intimate moments between uh napoleon and josephine um and i might get that in the uh the four hour cut uh we'll see uh how how that goes um but i i did really uh enjoy 
Napoleon. Um, it's not my favorite movie of the year. Um, it's definitely up there. Um, you can definitely see the effort that um, Ridley Scott and his team put into uh, this uh, movie. Uh, there are definitely going to be some Oscar nominations, um, you know, for this. Uh, definitely uh, a lot of technical uh, nominations. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see another Oscar nomination for Joaquin Phoenix. I'm pretty certain Vanessa Kirby would probably get an Oscar nomination. She is tremendous. And I think I enjoyed seeing what she does with her character more than even Joaquin Phoenix. Um, she just took over um, every scene that, that she was in. Um, and, uh, you know, the whole dichotomy between Josephine and Napoleon was really the kind of the main crux, I felt. You know, the Napoleon had all of these campaigns that he was part of and that he conquered and he won, but it seemed like Josephine was the one campaign that he couldn't conquer. He couldn't sire um, an heir. She couldn't bear children for him. Um, even after they divorced, he was still madly in love with her. Um, and it seemed like a lot of his choices were really dependent on where she was in his life. Um, and I really like that. And, and I hope that the four hour cut really dives a little bit more into it. Um, but yeah, um, this was, um, a really good movie. Um, definitely one uh, with its epic and its scope um, to, you know, definitely see it in the theaters. Um, I definitely recommend it um, in, in that respect. Again, it's it's really Scott. He just um, knows what he's doing. Dude's 85 years old and um, he, he still got it. So um, I definitely uh, recommend Napoleon. And um, again, I'm definitely interested in seeing how uh, the film is going to play out on Apple TV. But what did you guys think of Napoleon, uh, directed by Ridley Scott? Leave your comments, share your thoughts. Don't forget to like the video as well. Uh, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you can get notifications as well. Thanks a lot, everyone. Take care.